we have presenting a platform which we want you to work with us to develop so that we can engage, leverage and create a vehicle that is going to lead to climate action and building resilience and saving humanity. What is important to understand is that the DCAP is not a complicated thing. It's not about spending a lot of money, it's not about traveling all over the world. What it is, is covering two areas. Tapping the volunteerism that's out there, tapping the knowledge. If I'm seeking knowledge, specific knowledge, I come to DCAP. If I want to contribute, I come to DCAP. And doing it in a way that is simple, cost-effective, not tedious, not cumbersome, not bureaucratic. It's not about creating a massive platform with major volunteer programs in it. It's about having a short, sharp, quick intervention, doesn't cost any money, and you can do it from the seat of your chair, through your laptop, online, or your smartphone. That's DCAP. DCAP, we can look at it purely as a volunteering program, but I see it much bigger as that. It's, it's about really changing the paradigm and creating transformation in the way we deal with the climate action. More directly to the GCF specific, we've been finding in the GCF that many countries who want to do climate work and that really need support in terms of developing good portfolios or developing good projects. Sometimes the need may be merely for translation services. Sometimes the need may merely be getting some advice from somebody as to how do I structure a financing package or getting some advice from somebody as to where can I get the kind of capacity I need in order to do something. Where do they go? Uh, we have packages in the GCF like project preparation funding or readiness, etc. But these are very structured things, very structured around it. There's these little small elements that can be a catalyst for major things, but it cannot be fitted into a, a, a larger kind of program. And this is what DCAP unlocks. And that's what the idea about DCAP is, is harnessing the abilities and the social DNA of people in order to make that change in people's lives. Knowledge is often related to light. Knowledge illuminates things. So, if I have knowledge, take for argument's sake, the light that I have is a candle that's lit. Right? And I have a hundred people with candles that are not lit. If I take my candle and I begin to light each every candle, I do not lose my knowledge, but I'm using my knowledge to create greater illumination, greater awareness, and everybody can see. And that's a similar principle that you're having. It's taking the knowledge that is out there and applying it in a way and scaling it up so that we collectively see the benefit of what we're doing. And this is what these funds are all about doing. How do we, through small actions, derive global benefits? We often talk about these things in funds, about how do we do the, use the lessons learned? How do we create best practices on that? And this is what the portal is doing. It's creating an avenue by which we can better apply that in a manner that is going to go far reaching, far beyond just merely the projects that come to the GCF. And that's, that's at the end of the day, what the role of the GCF is doing, is to leverage that action beyond just what the GCF does. What DCAP also unlocks is the ability for a man in the street to say, I'm making my effort, I'm doing something, you know, and not just looking and seeing what we do in the negotiations, the Paris Agreement, etc. Uh, now has a direct impact in actually fulfilling what the Climate Change Convention says or what the Paris Agreement uh, says without having to be even a party to this convention. DCAP is giving you this portal and allowing you to deal with that thing. It is, it is actually giving the opportunity for the man in the street to aspire to what they always dream of, being a superhero. You can become a climate superhero through DCAP, or you can be a champion through DCAP.